hey guys, it's me, Jimmy. I'm out here in my garage, standing right next to my pallet of solar panels. You can see my 23 Q cells. Uh, you can see the racking back here and all the rest of the components are down on the floor. Uh, actually, the microinverters we got separately, those are in my basement. Um, since my last update, I, I did. there was one design change that had to be made um, and it was, re was, was relating to what the power company requirements were. I pressed Project Solar on it and they didn't really come through for me with much certainty. Um, so I actually, based on what I was seeing on the power company's website, I reached out directly to the contact that was listed there and he confirmed for me that they do not do any kind of which is not normal, but they do not do any kind of um, um, dual or like bi-directional meter. It has to have a separate consumption and production meter. It goes through the, the production meter and ties in before it goes to the consumption meter. So it's kind of, it, it's not the typical setup that most, most areas have, but um, that's just how they do it. And I don't really have a choice because I want to be grid tied. So. I had to figure that out myself, tell we entered, or tell Project Solar to redo the design again, and they actually did. Unfortunately, with in my case, um, the designs that we energies had are require didn't require, but they, they listed like a, a dual socket pedestal because I have underground service. Um, unfortunately. You can't find those dual dual socket pedestals at the 200 amp rating, which is what my service is. So we're gonna go with a separate 200 amp wall, wall mounted socket for the production. And then it's gonna tie into the pedestal that's existing. Um, that's just how it's gonna have to be because right now with supply chain issues, that's, just, that's what I can get. Um, otherwise, that aside, they, they shipped, obviously I got all my, my equipment. I'm planning on doing the install, starting the install either Friday, a couple days from now, or Saturday. And not, not doing the full install, but getting the install started um, and getting the racking installed and all that. Um, I've been kind of making sure that I'm prepared. I got, I got the thing, the, the one, one design page printed off. I was kind of planning out, out where, like how many, um, how many of the flash, well, what do I have? It, it's not flash foot two like I thought it was going to be. It's actually um, flash view, Iron Ridge flash view. I can show you that right here. We've got 54 of those. Um, sounds like from what I gather, it's not really a downgrade or anything. It's just a little, just a different product that supposedly is actually easier to install. Um, all the Iron, Iron Ridge stuff seems like it's pretty, pretty well made and well, well thought out. So I'm, I'm not too concerned. Um, oh, the other, the other thing I wanted to update you on, I uh, I did get an upgrade, be, li likely because of supply issues. Um, it was a it was maybe a month ago when um, Project Solar was reaching out and they said they were going to offer people who currently were under contract. Um, a cheaper upgrade option to the IQ8 series microinverters. Um, I, I declined because there was, for my my purposes, I'm not planning on doing solar backup, which is like this new thing that they got, or sun, sun, sunlight backup, whatever it's called, um, which requires a, a additional components to make it work and it's kind of expensive. Um, and so the, the IQ7 pluses were gonna be fine for me. However, when the microinverter showed up, I got the, the IQ8 pluses. So I'm guessing that their supplier could not get any more sevens and they just gave me the eights as part of a, it's, it's like a free upgrade basically. And I also got the new version of the uh, combiner box, the end base combiner box, which has the, uh, I mean, it's basically the same as the old version. I think the, the cover plate is not clear on this one and the, the front of the box has like a metal plate mounted to it to make it look look a little bit sharper. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same. Um, that's about all I have for you today. I just wanted to get that update. Hopefully, hopefully going to get the install install done in the next couple weeks. Weather permitting, it looks like the when I checked the weather this morning for Friday, 
uh, looked like it might rain today or like the, tonight I checked it again looks like it might not rain I'm off on Friday so I'm planning on getting hopefully all or most of my uh, the flash flash view like feet thing basically but the feet that go into the for the mounts for the racking basically installed um, and then maybe even start up some, start on some of the racking depending on how, how quickly I move um, once I get once I get going on it, I think it'll go pretty smooth it, um, if you have any more questions, I've, I've answered some questions in the comments. Um, I'm also going to continue to put my uh, referral link in there. I hope these videos are helpful. And I'm trying to just kind of cover the whole process, start to finish from the DIY install perspective. Let me know if you have any questions and I will cover them in the comments or in, in the next video. Um, hopefully, hopefully the install goes fine, but just wanted to kind of give that update. I will talk to you guys later. See ya.